Hello and welcome back people. My name is Reza Afshar, this is Chris Bridgen and this is one of more of our serious uh, videos. Um, as most of you guys know, the Bible teaches us and warns us about the end times and one of the specific things we look, we're supposed to look out for is the animals and fish dying off. Mm. And we have scripture for this, Zephaniah chapter 1. Uh, verse 3 it reads I will consume man and beast I will consume the fowls of the heaven and the fishes of the sea and the stumbling blocks with the wicked and I will cut off man from off the land saith the Lord so this scripture is not it happens you know it, it's announced and it happens and, and it's finished in, in, in a day. It's kind of, it's open and it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's escalating. It's begun. Basically. And we can see this, can't we, Chris? Yeah, and yeah. this whole video is, is evidence, mm. is evidence of that. Mm. So, yeah, it's really serious, guys. So uh, today what we've done, we've selected some mass animal, animal death headlines for February and March 2016. And these for me are the most impacting of those last mm. two months. Mm. So, just to let you know, the rest of these headlines will be going into our main Worldwide End Time Signs a compilation coming up soon. Mm. So, okay, let's begin, guys, and uh, please uh, pay attention to these headlines. There's quite a few, but they're impacting. So I'll begin with number one. 1st of February, uh, headline reads, The Gentle Giant's Graveyard, North Sea Whale Death Toll Raises to 23, as another eight are washed up on the German coast, after mass beachings across Europe. 3rd of February reads, unprecedented disaster for Hong Kong fish farmers. Deadly red tide kills 36 tons of stock. That's a lot of fish. Mm. 13th of February, unbelievable headline, 150,000 peng penguins die mm. after giant iceberg renders mm. colony landlocked. So guys, we do get a lot of comments about, oh, it's Fukushima or it's harp, it's this, it's that. We're not so interested in that. The scripture is really clear. It's, say, it's clear that God is instigating this, but if it happens through Fukushima, if it happens through a meteorite or whatever, you know. Earthquakes, volcanoes, yeah. the sea's warming up, which causes fish to die. That's not, the, the result isn't, it's the cause we believe is God that's doing it through these many different events. Yeah, through judgment. Um, through judgment, yeah. And so, and so our job is to look out for the animals uh, dying off, and they are, and it's accelerating. Mm. Um, so we really want to make that point yeah. more clear. Yeah. Okay, next uh, headline, uh, 16th of Feb, this is Vietnam, so we're crossing the world. Uh, more than 1,000 tonnes of fish died in the river uh, in the West through a lack of oxygen. Again, that's through heat taking the oxygen out of the water. Mm. 22nd of February, 20 tons of dead fish in Lake Maninjau in Indonesia. 23rd of Feb, this is Colombia now, South America. Some 100,000 cattle have died from drought. Mm. Incredible. 26th of February, hundreds of sea lions wash up dead in Chile. 29th of Feb, Norway, so now back to Europe, 400,000 farm fish, that's salmon, died due to disease and delousing. Uh, 29th of Feb, this is Mexico, a uh, humpback whale found dead on the beach in Baja, California, uh, Mexico, and during the season, 16 whales have been found dead there. 1st of March, Bolivia, El Nino affects 860,000 cattle and at least 700,000 have died. So a lot of these, are, we're seeing the judgment is, is through yeah. weather related, isn't it? It's yeah. weather related. Weather, a lot of these are weather related and a bit disease there as well. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay, 3rd of March, uh, they found 23 dead dolphins on the Atlantic coast of Argentina. 7th of March, Chile. Again, we're covering South America a lot uh, on these headlines. But, uh, 7th of March, Chile. A harmful algae leaves 21 million dead salmon. 9th of March, 15 more bird flu outbreaks in Nigeria, so uh, Africa, and 160,000 birds were destroyed. 16th of March, uh, scientists continue researching seabird death mystery in Alaska. 
and the confirmed carcass count is now up to 36,000 birds and they believe it's through starvation these birds have died. So different cause now. 19th of March, Mongolia. Again, a different area of the world. More than 350,000 dead livestock from cold. Again, weather related. 23rd of March, Vietnam. Uh, this headline isn't translated very well, but in the story it says that due to drought and salinity, 2,250 tons of oysters are lost. It's a lot of oysters. Mm. Um, and we're getting to, we've got three more to go. 28th of March, uh, this is more than a dozen dead dolphins have washed up on Georgia's Black Sea coastline with authorities unsure why. Florida, 28th of March, mass fish kill is a nightmare to behold. More than 30 species of fish estimated in the hundreds of thousands uh, have started floating to the surface and washing up along shores. Mm. And finally, UK, um, 31st of March, so a couple of weeks ago, biggest rise in dolphin, porpoise and whale deaths, deaths since 2006. 61 dead cetaceans were recorded between January and March. So that's some serious headlines yeah. there, guys. You know, that's, that's a lot of animals dying. Fish, cattle, whales, oysters, mm. you name it. Birds, it's everything. It's mm. not one thing in particular. It's not one part of the world. It's everywhere. Mm. And it's not something where we're scrambling to, 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 to put a video together, thinking, oh, okay, well, we need to just scare some people. It's not like that. It's, mm. it's these are just, there's just, hitting us in the face if anything and we have to show you this but it's ongoing it's relentless and we're, and and it we, we there's a real big correlation with the record global heat temperatures we're mm. seeing these, these every single month there's new records of how hot this world is getting and it's having an effect isn't it's it having a massive effect i mean again these are some of the headlines the most impacting ones mm. but in the in the compilation putting together there's Probably videos, like 30 well. or 40 more with a mm. few videos mm. and um, a lot of fish dying across the world due to heat yeah. the sea the earth is warming up the seas warm up takes oxygen out of the water the fish die mm. um, and also that has an effect on the birds because some of the birds feed off the fish but mm. the fish are dying mm. or they're migrating because the waters are too warm and then and they die through, through lack of food so the cause and effect scenario is huge yeah. it's absolutely yeah. huge and we would encourage you to do your own research as well. We're not here just to convince you. We're here just to, we're warning you and telling you this is the, you know, signs of the end times. But mm. uh, this isn't like a, a convincing. Uh, no, we'd, yeah, we'd like you to take notice, obviously. Yeah, do your own research. And yeah. we know that if you actually do your own research and don't just scoff, you'd actually will come, you'd actually will see, mm. you'd actually find out that something is seriously wrong. Because all we're doing is really showing you the headlines, taking yeah. scripture and pointing, joining the two together. Mm. And we're not solely basing our understanding on just these headlines. It's an array of evidence that we've given over the last couple of years through various sources as NASA and NOAA mm. that, that, that tell us of these heat records and these record floods and droughts and so on and mm. so forth that that they're all connect to all it's all it's all intertwined yeah yeah um so it's it's you know, you'd have to go and look over our videos, really, to, mm. to see all these various... Uh, oh, definitely. Uh, and if we've got an a End Times compilation that's coming up in about about a week's time, I think, uh, and uh, you'll start to see the evidence of, of, of these record heat temperatures and what's going on. That Again, the droughts and the floods, like Chris was saying, cars washing down the streets, yeah. uh, and all these are earthquakes and volcanoes, and mm. it's just, it's mm. just unre unrelenting. Yeah. Um, we do get comments saying, oh, this has always happened. Well... Not on the scale that we're seeing. No, no. Not no, record-breaking. I mean, no, and, and I think we mentioned this the other day. There was a, a, a headline that uh, said last summer, 2015, was the warmest summer that scientists believe we had in 4,000 years. Mm. So it's, that's not happening all the time, is it? <laughs> no. We're kind of reaching a peak yeah. uh, through 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 these warming temperatures, and mm. they're going beyond what they've been in four thousand years. So, yeah. and guys, what Jesus said, what the Bible says, it's only going back a couple of thousand years. So we're only looking at the worst in a couple of thousand mm. years. We're not looking at the worst in a million years or a billion years. Mm. No, we're only talking about the last couple of thousand years. Mm. Uh, that's that's the relevant uh, mm. point. So, mm. um, and the key thing is the Bible teaches us and warns us. To, to look out for the signs of the end times mm. it's scriptural to do that and uh i think we've said that i've said this a number of times if you don't think these are the signs then tell us what you think that are the signs of the end mm. times and if you haven't got a scooby-doo on, on what the signs are then you know 
<laughs> Something, yeah. something's wrong. Yeah, <laughs> these are the signs to look out for. That's right. Yeah, because if you if you uh, ignore the signs that the Bible says, then you're ignoring God's word and therefore ignoring His signs. And um, we, we need to take note. Yeah. Otherwise, um, we'll be oblivious. And I know some people are oblivious. Yeah, and some of them are a bit subtle as well. Some of them are. Yeah. Some you have to you have to have a. It's like um, with scripture sometimes you can look in one particular direction because you're expecting it to appear in, in, in some way, shape or form. But mm. you've got to have 360 degree vision because it can come in many different ways. Yeah. What, uh, you've got to expect the unexpected sometimes mm. when it comes to scripture. Mm. And uh, some things, like Rez saying, are subtle. Are, so, yeah. so you've got to be aware of every, as much as you possibly can. Mm. So... All right, guys, uh, we will leave it there. We do have um, quite a few more videos coming up soon. So um, so any comments or questions, just put them below and we'll get back to you. All right, yeah. see you later. From this study, 39% of vertebrate marine life is gone. Things like fish, whales, sea lions, sharks, etc. are down by 39%. If you'd like to subscribe, please click on the link.